How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get the flippers and how to complete the Angler's Tunnel in this walkthrough for Link's Awakening. Heading into our first room, we notice that the door on the right hand side slams shut straight away. To reopen it, take out all the enemies, the hard hat beetles and red gels. And then on the left hand side you notice there's 10 bombs, collect these, they will be useful later on because we will be taking out the mini boss which will require these bombs. In the next room we have the same types of enemies, the spiked hard hat beetles, red gels and a spark. Inside this treasure chest we'll get the compass which will be really useful because it will show us if there's treasure in the room when we enter it. So now we've got the compass, we're going to head into this room down here. We're met with some new enemies, tech types take them out with the sword and then we can try and solve the puzzle which is pretty simple with this one we just smash these gems and then we'll be able to get the first key from the treasure chest so it's optional if you open this or not because there's not really anything there for us at the moment we can come back to that and now we're armed with the compass we should head on to the next upper level where we can get the stone beak and also the dungeon map to give us full advantage of completing this dungeon as easy as possible so if you don't know already the stone beak you use on the owls in the room to help you solve puzzles it usually gives you a clue so now we'll keep heading on upwards and then we're going to take a right again this will take us to the dungeon map. So to make over this gap we need Pegasus boots and the rock's feather to jump over. And as we enter this room we notice that there's a block with a crack in it. We need to put a bomb there to blow it up and we should be able to move the other block out the way and collect the key from this chest. You'll notice that there's a new enemy in this room as well, the pea heads. You can only kill them if they're stable and they're not spinning around. So once you've made it past all these enemies, we head into this room with more blocks with cracks in it. We need to blow them up and we should be able to access the chest. And that gives us another key. So from here, head back to the first room of the whole dungeon. And we're going to go to the right hand side, back to the room where we couldn't explore earlier on because we didn't have enough keys. In here we met with some tektites. Take them out. We can't actually get the treasure chest on the left hand side yet, but later on we can. We're now at the cross bit where you can jump over. So we're going to use Pegasus boots and the Rock's Feather again to jump over this big gap. Okay here we're going to take some damage because the Stolfus and that bomb thing will bounce around and will block our only way of getting through. But of course deflect his sword attack and give him a slash. And we're going to head into the next room. So in this room, take out the red gels and a key will fall from above but into a pit of darkness and we never see that key again. So the game is actually making fun of us. In this door, there's actually the mini boss, cue ball. We need to come back there after we've got a key, so we've got to continue on. Remember to stay on the raised platforms. If you fall into the water, you will actually drown and lose some hearts. So what's really annoying is the pea heads flying because you can't attack them but they can attack you the only way to kill the pea heads is if they're stable and the flower on the top of the heads isn't spinning but the tektites are pretty easy to take out here i take out this pea head yep but the other ones are spinning so i avoid those and then we got the stolfuses and the red gel inside this treasure chest it's actually a decoy inside is a red gel green gel 
So from here, just continue on. We're going to skip this room because we can't actually solve the puzzle without the flippers. Just take out the tektites, continue onwards, and there's a key in that chest. Now we've got a key that we can use to open the mini boss battle door. So head back to the room where the key just fell into that pit. And now we're going to enter the battle against Kubal. So to defeat Kubal, you're going to need to explode a bomb in its body area. The key here is to do with timing and distance, so I say about a quarter's distance away from him, drop a bomb and it should be perfectly timed and explode on its body and eventually you'll take him out and you can collect the fairy for extra life. If you've got the bottle already, you can capture the fairy and save life there. So in this room we need to pull down the mechanism to make the gap wide enough so we can run through the doors. Watch out for the spark. I didn't listen to my own advice here. So don't do what I just did. Now in this room, watch out for the fireballs and the red gels because they're defending this treasure chest which has the flippers. The flippers actually makes this dungeon so much easier because most of this dungeon is actually surrounded by water which was what was getting in our way earlier on. So in here, take out the enemies and then follow the glow around and you can see the pattern you need to tread on the warps to reopen that door and we can carry on back down and if we can push this block out the way we can re-enter the water puzzle where we skipped earlier on. Here take out the enemies first I recommend and this is the pattern you need to tread on them to complete this part of the puzzle to unveil a new underground path. So head down those stairs. Here we've got to deal with some fonts. Just stand close enough but not right underneath and it should drop down and we can avoid damage. Here we're going to use this one as a stepping stone so get onto the ladder and then jump on top of his head and then onto the upper levels. Now we just got to head down and there's a treasure chest with the nightmare key. There we go, we've got the nightmare key. So with the nightmare key in our possession, there's only one more thing to do and that's the boss battle. But we're still actually missing one more key. And you can see there's the nightmare door. We can't actually access it from there. We need to head to the bottom right of this room. And you can see a button we can press on that button to open the gate. We can do that now or a bit later on because we do need one more key because there is a lock blocking the path. So head on through, take out the enemies as you can and there's the treasure chest we missed earlier on. Now we've got the flippers, we can access it. Inside there's 50 rupees. Never say no to some rupees. Just carry on up and we're going to take the right hand side and exit. Why not build up our health before boss battle? So we're going to take the stairs down after taking out these enemies because this bit we missed earlier on. There's a reason we missed it because you need to go underwater and we didn't have the flippers. As you can see the key is in the water so dive down, pick up the key and then we're going to head back to the area with the button. So now we're going to swim through the area with the button, collect
up here. The key to defeating the anglerfish is hitting the red light bulb above his head. So his attacks include ramming the wall and then rocks will fall so you're going to have to dodge those in between while attacking him and also he'll call his mini anglerfish to come help him out. But after about 8 strikes I think the anglerfish will be taken out and you have completed the Angler's Tunnel, go collect your Surf Heart. I'm Simon from LOG, Level 1 Gamer. Subscribe if you want more Link's Awakening videos. But until next time, peace out.